Fuzzy, I want to go back to you because, look, Boss Shaw on Twitter, who I'm a fan of, uh, had uh, he puts out great tweets. He really does. They're very pointed. He's an Xbox guy through and through. Um, and early on May 17th, which was a couple of days ago, when the announcement of Call of Duty going into Game Pass day and date, well, on Amazon, sales for the Xbox Series X one terabyte edition went up 111%. Was that ranked at number five? And then a couple of hours later, um, we get uh, a tweet here from his ham, his ham on Twitter. Um, and we have confirmation that it went up 210%. Mm-hmm. That is no mistake here. Let, 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 let's, let's be completely real. Like Gamsley literally just said, Call of Duty is a game that the masses know about from hardcore, I play 12 hours a day, to someone that buys three games a year. Call of Duty has been around for two decades and will continue to be around for another two. This is a big deal because it's no coincidence that the console has gone up. Now, I didn't see anything, and I went looking for it, about Series S sales. So if anyone has that in front of them, and you happen to just DM me, I'll check and see if we can get that. Conf- I'm, I'm going to continue to look for it. But we know that Series X sales have gone up in a big way. This, again, ladies and gentlemen, is not a freaking coincidence. This is the Call of Duty effect. And again, it comes at a time where you have a big game dropping tomorrow that is going to really change the conversation about Xbox First Party. At the end of the year, you have Indiana Jones, you have Avowed. We have, in two and a half weeks, a showcase, which is supposed to be the second coming. And we don't even know what extra games are going to drop outside of what we know. We, would we? Can we get the Gears of War collection running in Unreal Engine 5? It's possible. We may get, we, we may get something else. We may get South of Midnight. We don't know. But it really seems... Again, this is this perfect storm we were just talking about, but I want to specifically focus on the sales going up. Coincidence or not, sir? I, I think it is. Uh, um, well, how should I put this? It, it's it's not a coincidence. It it it's. I, I think it's directly correlated to the, what's coming on on uh, the platform. Like for the most part, yes, it's been talked about a lot as far as Call of Duty coming to Game Pass. But I think now with seeing a place like Wall Street Journal make mention of it. I, I, I think even the masses that aren't on Twitter talking about gaming or aren't watching YouTube videos about gaming, the, the, the casual gamer, like you said, that only buys two or three games a year, one of them being either Madden or 2K or, or uh, FCA or, or uh, what, what used to be FIFA um, and Call of Duty just happens to be the, their go-to every year. They're they're starting to realize, hey, well, if it's coming to Xbox and they're going to have it in this subscription service, which people have gotten used to subscription services thanks to places like Netflix and Amazon and Disney, um, and knowing that there's another game coming out this same week, people are probably trying to get ahead of it. And they know with a lot of in a lot of cases, you get like 30 days of Game Pass for free in the box, and there's deals to be had on Game Pass, whether you see sales on Target or CD Keys or a couple other sites like that. I, I think people are looking at it from a long-term standpoint because they're like, well, I'm still on a PS4 um, or I'm still on an Xbox One. There's rumblings that this is next gen. I, I, I've seen some people say, yeah, it's already been confirmed. I, I, I hope it's that way. I haven't seen those same things. Uh, so if you have those links, please drop them in the chat. But um uh, I, it's been talked about for so long that I would have to believe if they follow their normal tradition with, with Call of Duty, usually after the third year, they go to whatever the next gen console is and kind of cut off the, the previous space, which, you know, sucks for those still on the previous space. But then now would be the time to be it would be kind of an incentive. And this holiday, I have to believe that there's going to be some deals to be had on these consoles. So it should hopefully make things a little smoother of a transition, especially if you trade up. Um, you know, 
GameStop is always, well, somewhat reasonable on trading in hardware, more so than trading in software. But um, yeah, I, I, I think with it going from 111% up to 210% up, I think by the time Hellblade's reviews get released and, and you know, people are praising it, you know, within probably the next 24 hours, I mean, I, I kind of expect places like Metro and maybe even IGN to be like, oh, it's only a 7 out of 10. <laughs> but the rest of the, the gaming space, I, th I think they'll will give it, you know, at least a similar score to what it what the first one did, if not better. Um, you know, typically games improve on what the first one did. So I would like to see, um, you know, how people feel about that with this, this uh, you know, second one coming out. But yeah, by holiday or actually by June showcase, when all the details are laid out on the table for Call of Duty going into Game Pass, Previous Call of Duties going into Game Pass, uh, whatever games are coming in or uh, coming to the console the second half of the year. Uh, a lot of people like to talk about like the digital library that people don't want to you know abandon. And I think at this point, when you have something like Game Pass, you don't have to worry about that previous library because if you were just that Call of Duty player and you subscribe to Game Pass, well, you now have access to all of your previous Call of Duties. And I think because of the way they have the the login, some of your progress should be saved over, if I'm not mistaken. So any of your, your gun skins and things like that, especially between Modern Warfare 2 and 3, which I hope they continue this trend for Warzone stuff to carry over, you won't have you won't be missing out on anything you achieved on the previous platform. So I, I expect those things to bump up to like 500 percent by the showcase time, and if not a thousand percent, well. It'd be kind of hard to do a thousand percent at that point unless they're basing it off of this snapshot of time right now. But I think by holiday, it it will be up there on the MPDs and and uh, was it VGC charts or something like that. They'll probably make a note. Hey, yeah, it's it's moving a lot better in the U.S. and the U.K. And we'll see if they can you know take take back some of that um, you know market share in the U.K. But yeah, the people are going to buy the console because they're they're most played game is now associated with that. Just like people bought that PS4. Yeah, Xbox, you know, stepped on a couple of rakes, but people bought a PS4 because of the, oh, this is how you share games. Like Boom said earlier, the $100 price difference and all of the marketing, which made it feel like, oh, you can only play Watch Dogs on PS4. Oh, you can only play, you know, you know Call of Duty on PS4. I, I, I think that helped them and in turn, it'll help Xbox this go around. Absolutely. Uh Gamza, let's get you in on the conversation, brother. Listen, again, coincidence? I say no. Uh, and we only have Series X sales in front of us. Um, Series S sales, I'm looking for it. I don't see it, but I would imagine that we're going to get start to see some of those numbers because the weekend has passed. Um, the Series X is selling like hotcakes. And, you know, people are going to buy the console in anticipation of a game like Call of Duty, which, again, you said it one of those games that people that come out that are generational that people know exactly what you're talking about maybe they're not diehard gamers like us but they understand and know what call of duty is this is a big deal let's talk about it you're on mute brother you oh sorry i love people in the chat these guys are the best um <laughs> steven i love you um so um i okay there's a lot of reasons for console spikes to happen uh coupons i don't know discounts I don't know, whatever it is um this could have been i don't know the numbers i don't know it, it's probably amazon or something i don't know where the number jumped to 210 percent or why um i doubt there would be an immediate effect on the same day slash hour of the announcement. Um, I don't think it travels that fast. I really do think it was just some sort of discount, but um, either discount or something, I don't know. Um, but it's inevitable, that's for sure. Um, I think that there's a large shift coming, as we said, two million times before um as the years go on and as the economy gets healthier or whatever people 
you know, get into a stable environment, you know, everything's going to go up again. So, you know, games are going to go up again, game sales, console sales. It's just a matter of time. There's fluctuations up and down, but make no mistake. Uh, Xbox is not immune to that up. Like they are going to go up some day sooner than later. Xbox drops into game pass. There's going to be a bump there. Then when Indiana Jones comes out, there's going to be a bump there. Um, Avowed comes out. There's going to be a small bump there. Uh, their ceiling is pretty short at the million, uh, at the minute. So they're going to punch through that ceiling pretty quickly at some point because right now their sales are uh, not ideal, right? Boom. They're they're just not ideal at the moment. So y- year on year, the, you're, we're going to see um, quarterly earnings say that the Xbox Series uh, consoles are, let's say, up. 1%, 10%, 20%, or maybe down 21% instead of 31%, or I don't know. You're, you're going to see those numbers get better and better. It's inevitable. Uh, let's just play some games, and um, let's let's just play some games together. I'm I, I'm excited for games, right, Fuzzy? Games are exciting. Call of Duty is exciting. It's not going to kill the gaming industry, and things aren't going to blow up, right? Tell me exactly. I'm right. Exactly. All right, exactly. perfect. <laughs>